So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. And uh, today in this video, I would like uh, to fulfill a request from one of my viewers who requested, can you please put some saliva under the microscope? Well, here it is. This is saliva under the microscope, but I think I do need to explain a few things here that we're able to see. First of all, you do notice that uh, the video clips here are not quite as colorful as they usually are when I make videos. And the reason is, is that I'm using now so-called phase contrast microscopy, which is a, quite an advanced uh, technique, uh, which allows you to see uh, uh, objects of very low contrast, for example, um, certain bacteria. And this here, for example, is then the DIC technique, which uh, is a little bit more colorful, uh, but uh, not quite as high in contrast. So I would like to explain a little bit here um, what we're able to see, especially phase contrast is important for seeing bacteria because, yes, there are many of them um, in my mouth. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to now, um, again, activate uh, my little arrow again, and I'm I'm also going to pause the video because I would like uh, to show you now a few of the things here um, that we're able to see. Those structures here, uh, what could they be? Well, uh, these are the cells of the inside of my mouth, epithelium cells. So they came off um, and uh, they are now found their way on, on the microscope slide. You can see that each one of those cells has a little yeah, oval structure, round structure on the inside. That is the nucleus. This is where the DNA can be found. In this case, you've got a round three cells here that are still sticking together. However, there are other cells also um, on this picture, and these cells are actually um, significantly smaller here. Look, do you see this uh, dark little line over here? That is a bacterium, and all of those, or at least not all of them, but many of those other dots that you see floating around here in the background are, as a matter of fact, uh, bacteria. So, and uh, the mouth, of course, is an ideal place uh, for bacteria because it's not only moist um, and warm, um, but there is, of course, also plenty of food present and uh, this, of course, is a whole ecosystem um, for, for bacteria. Now, you do notice that there is movement uh, um, here, and this is because the saliva is now spreading beneath uh, the cover glass of my microscope slide, and this causes a, a drift um, in the fluid, and this kind of uh, makes uh, everything appear to be in motion. Here again, I'm going to pause. Uh, you can see again uh, that uh, there are plenty of bacteria, and here, this one over here, these long bacteria, these are so-called rods, uh, rods are simply describing um, the shape of the bacteria, but you can see a variety of different uh, shapes. So, so maybe this one over here as well, um, uh, as well. Now, which type of bacteria are these? You might wonder. Which species are they? Are they dangerous? Um, are they problematic? Well, th I will be honest with you. There are probably several hundred different um, types of bacterial species in the mouth, um, and uh, most of them, of course, are quite harmless. However, of course, as we all know, some of them do uh, cause uh, tooth decay from plaque um, on on the teeth and then they produce some acid for example when you eat a lot of sugary foods uh, the uh, some bacteria produce an acid and this can actually break down the top uh, the outermost surface um, of the teeth yeah here again uh, we um, are now looping the video and we're back at the beginning and this is how it again looks like maybe i'm going to pause here again um, and we're going to have another look yeah, again here an epithelial cell notice the the nucleus in the center and here as well yeah. And those uh, epithelial cells from the inside of the mouth are very flat, obviously. They like to be compressed, uh, um, of course, uh, between the cover glass and the microscope slides. And uh, the bacteria, which are significantly smaller and thinner, they are able to stream and move uh, between um, the cells uh, um, of, uh, of my mouth. Yeah. yeah, so um, that's basically yeah what I want wanted to show you, and uh, of course, uh, depending on whether you brushed your teeth or not, this determines of course also quite a bit uh, about the uh, concentration of bacteria that you're able to find. And as a matter of fact, uh, back in the day, many hundred years ago, um, the first microscopists they realized that when you drink a uh, hot tea. Uh, then, of course, the number of bacteria goes down. Why is that? Well, of course, because uh, they die off uh, due to the heat. I think uh, I'm going to leave it at that again. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.